Going on to the second assault attempt. As you can see, the French forces have basically doubled, plus they now have a little small four-pound battery of six cannon to fire up onto the castle. Four-pounder is not going to do much to a class three positional or castle-type wall, but it might irritate or knock off an a stray Sardinian Piedmontese grenadier. We have a French line demi-brigade down here, three battalions, eight figures each, and a French demi-brigade de légère, or light demi-brigade, over here. Again, eight figures each. Sardinian Piedmontese garrison is basically the same. The two groups of the Sardinian 3rd Grenadiers and the Fry Corps. The sequence of play is the same as before. So starting this off with the MFP phase, we're going to pass through that real quickly. Then is the Sardinian Charge de Declaration phase. No cavalry present. Passing that. Sardinian Rally. They're in good order. No need to rally. Brings us up to the French Movement phase. As before, the French Movement phase starts with formation changes. But in this case, column's probably the optimal formation to go up against the castle wall, so I will leave them as such. And I will move each of the individual battalions as needed. As you can see, I've done all the French movements. I've brought up the four initial battalions to make assaults on the walls in the two different zones, the yellow and the blue zone. And I've also left two battalions at the base of the hill as reserves, and hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of any success. As for the four-pounder, it's probably going to have its firepower blocked because of all the battalions of infantry up in front of the hill. But like I said earlier, it's going to have minimal effects, so we'll see if, it, if we can storm on the first wave here. With the movement, French movement phase done, it's now time for the command phase. As you can see, I've already moved the French general up onto the hill. He still has a 9-inch zone of influence around, so he's going to cover most of the battalions. Del Calareto is just going to stay on where he is right now, because I have a, another command phase before the actual shock combats come down, so there's no need to immediately attach him to anybody. Next in the sequence of play is the shock phase. The French have, been de have declared all their shocks against the wall, but it's actually the Sardinian shock phase, because they haven't had a chance to react. Remember, if you just moved before in the prior phase, it's not your shock turn in most circumstances. With that being said, we go through the shock phase real quickly because there is no Sardinian shock. They didn't announce it or move into anybody's combat last round. So it then comes to the mutual artillery fire phase. This would be an opportunity when the four pound battery would be able to fire, but since there's so much French infantry blocking their field of fire against the castle, there will be no firing at this point in time. Next comes the small arms fire phase, or the infantry fire phase, and in this case I've got two battalions of Sardinian Grenadiers which are going to be firing, this group subgroup over here, and this subgroup over here. The reason why I use the word subgroup, just as a quick influence, is I decided to break the, the Piedmontese Grenadier Battalion into two groups, so it can cover both zones. It's a functionality of the scenario. Remember, when it comes down to the firing phase, these Sardinian Piedmontese Grenadiers are represented to be in this zone, so they're covering this whole area. Same thing this over here. As long as they have four figures, they can, they can be kept in close order or multiple rank type firing line. If they go down to three or, three or less figures, they are forced to use a more open order formation on the wall, which of course gives them a diminutive defensive capacity. So let's go to firing. Four figures, 48%. Well, using the firing into the blue method, this battalion or subgroup of, of Piedmontese Grenadiers is going to fire into one of these two battalions, needing a 48. They rolled a 45. Well, there's two possible targets out here, so I'm going to go odd or even. This battalion took a loss. Over here, same thing. 65, that group missed. Remember, it's 48 or less. So now this battalion here is going to require a morale check. They start with a 6. General is going to give them back 1 for a 7. Lost a figure is a 6. They rolled the big 0 again. But note this is not the shock combat phase. So consequently the plus or minus 1 additions do not apply in this, in this phase. This is the mutual infantry fire phase or small arms fire phase. So that 0 is going to be to their modified 6. Is 4 over. They fell into disorder. If it was 5 or more they would have actually routed. So they're just barely hanging on to their toenail, shall we say, on that hilt slope. That concludes the first half of the first turn. 
Now going on to the second half. In the second half, we're going to start off with the MFP phase. We'll do the accounting for the losses and things of that nature. Then the next step is going to be the French charge declaration phase, which was no cavalry, so we skip. French rally phase. Okay, this unit's in morale disorder. So this would normally be its attempt or chance to go into good order, but it cannot. And the reason why is because it's in a minimum fire zone of an enemy unit. For minimum fire zone for musketry is two inches in our game, and for artillery goes out to four inches. So because of the, this unit's being in the minimum fire zone of these Piedmontese grenadiers, it prevents it from doing a rallying up to good order. And that applies only to the, if the Piedmontese are in a close order formation. If they are actually deployed as skirmishers, then they would be able to rally up. After the French rally phase comes the Sardinian movement phase. Well, in this case, I'm not going to move any of the units. So we're looking pretty good and we're going to hold pat so there's no formation facing changes and then the movement of the units or changing between the zones. That being done comes the command phase. In this case I'm going to attach Del Carreto over here because I view this as being the worst of the two attacks. And the French general is going to apply himself to this Leger battalion, Demi Brigade de Leger, and we're going to see what happens in the shock, coming up, shock phase which comes up right after this. It's now the French shock phase, so they need to determine which of these four assaults they wish to go with first. Remember, they don't all occur simultaneously. We have to choose one after another, and generally you want to go with your best possible assault, unless you're figuring out some form of a softening up type of attack. That being said, we're going to go with this uh, Leger column out here on the far side. I'm going to go with that one in attempt. Notice it's more than two inches apart here, so I've tried to avoid the play contagion type effect if you're within two inches of a breaking unit. Things first, the Sardinian P. Montese Grenadiers have to roll to rally. Well, we know they're going to pass this automatically because we've done this calculation before. Basically, as long as I can roll a 10 or, or less on a 10 sided die, they're going to pass. So the only question comes into mind is do they get the plus or minus 1? They roll a 3, so they certainly pass. Next comes up is the final, final fire or final shock combat fire. Four figures doubled is 96. They roll a 47. They inflict the loss of one figure, one miniature. Which promptly causes a morale check for the Leger. Now Leger is one grade higher than the line. So they start as a 7, general in the area within 9 inches. Gives them back an 8, but they've lost a figure as a 7. They roll a 2, they pass. So now we got to do the combat results differential on the shock combat table. Start with the French. They started originally with a 7. They've lost a figure, so they're a six. They have no other modifiers on their shock tables. So they start with a six. P. Montese Grenadiers start with an eight. Castle Wall is going to give them three. That's an 11. General is plus one because he's attached directly. Gives, makes him a 12. They're also rated as elite. So consequently, they're, one, they're better than the line grade Leger, so they're going to get a plus one, which makes it a 13. So it's a 13 to a 6. That's a minus 7 assault. Let's roll it out. 5. That's a route result. So this French Leger battalion is going to route and lose two figures. So they're going to run their 10 inches away. Directly away from the enemy that caused the loss. But since they were more than two inches away from any friend, or they're not going to pass any friendly units on the way going back down the hillside, there's no additional morale checks. Key tactical thing in our game. If you don't need to, don't be bunched up. 